Hi, welcome to Terraform tutorial series. In this video, I'm I'm going to talk about what is Terraform, and I'm going to show you a couple of examples using Terraform. Terraform is a open source tool using which we can automate the provisioning of resources or cloud. For example, we have different cloud providers like Amazon Web Services, uh, Bluemix, uh, Azure, Google Cloud. This particular tool supports multiple providers and using this tool we can automate the provisioning of resources for instance we want to launch ec2 instances we want to configure nat gateways or internet gateways or subnets or im roles users so instead of doing all these activities manually we can completely automate that process using terraform let's get started so before getting into the examples we need Amazon Web Services account. We need to install Terraform on the system, on the laptop. And we need to provide programmatic access to Terraform. I already have an account with me. Uh, let me get into IAM. Let me create a user. Add user. So I am creating this user to provide access to Terraform. So under select AWS access type, we need to select programmatic access, which is going to give us access key ID and secret key. We are going to configure this access key ID and secret access key to the, to the laptop where we are going to run Terraform. Set permissions. So I am giving admin access to this user the first one here review this and create the user so after creating the user we get access key and secret key so we need to configure this access key and secret key to the laptop where we execute terraform let's open the terminal and configure this access key and secret key via AWS command line tool. So try AWS configure. It will ask you for the access key. Get the access key here. It will ask for the secret key. Grab secret key from here. It will ask you for the region. I am working on US West 2 region. I am typing the same here. The output format, I am keeping it as none. By default, it picks JSON as an output format here. To run this AWS CLI, we must have installed this AWS CLI. For more details, check AWS documentation. Yeah, open this link and you can see the process of installing. AWS command line interface tool. So just go through this and get it done. The next step is download and configure Terraform tool. Let's check for Terraform download. Go to downloads. So we can see Terraform distribution for different operating systems here. You can see it for Mac, Linux, and Solaris, Windows, and other operating systems here. So please download the binary distribution based on your platform. In my case, I am using Mac OS. I downloaded this particular zip file. This is a zip file. It is not an executable file. This zip contains .exe. So download it. Unzip the file. Once you unzip, in case of Mac, move that file under user local bin and this file will be in path automatically and we can use this command for running our terraform programs it is not an executable file it's a it's a kind of script so we need to just unzip it take that file move it under this bin directory in case of macbook and in case of other platforms check the documentation so once it is done we should be able to use this terraform command let me check the version of Terraform. Yeah, 
we are getting some information about the version of the terraform so it says the terraform is properly configured on this machine the next step is we need to choose some editor for writing terraform code so in my case i am using atom in your case you can choose any editor it can be a very simple notepad or any advanced editors you like let's create a separate directory where we are going to uh, do terraform examples let's cd into that so let me open this directory in the atom as i said early also terraform supports multiple providers when we work with terraform we have to define what is a provider in our case we are going to use terraform on amazon web services let's create a file for that So we can choose any arbitrary file names, but the extensions must be .tf. So I'm giving the name as provider. It can be any other name of your choice. Provider AWS. This is the syntax of Terraform to define the provider details. Let me show the documentation. I always recommend referring to the documentation while working on any kind of task. Let's go to Google. Let's search for Terraform provider. Let's directly get into this AWS provider there. See the usage. So provider is the keyword here and the name of the provider is AWS. We also can pass access key and secret key via this. So in our case, right, we, we have set this access key and secret key via command line interface. Terraform is going to use the same access key and secret key for interacting with our AWS account. Let's copy paste the same code. So, but in our case, we can ignore this access and secret keys because it's already configured. And we need to specify the region, obviously. Uh, Terraform is going to provision the resources in this region. I want to choose us west 2 so this is the syntax of terraform for defining the providers so the provider we can think of this one as a keyword name of the provider and these are the attributes of this particular resource next i want to define a couple of resources like this i want to create vpc using terraform so for that the syntax is to use resource so i need to supply two informations here one is the type of resource the type of resource is vpc and this is going to be the logical name of the vpc in the next example i will explain you where we use this logical name let's call this one as i'm calling this one as java home terraform vpc so under this VPC, under this resource, we need to define certain attributes like this. So let's go and check these details in the documentation. Let's search for Terraform VPC in the documentation. They have given some example usage here. Let's copy paste it. Okay, I'm slightly renaming it. Uh, let's call this one as main. Uh, a dummy one so in real time keep the names little closer to your requirements so we need to specify the cider block 190 160.0.0 slash 16 and instance tenancy don't go for dedicated we should go for default so while creating vpc we also can set tags this is a syntax to set tag so the tag keys name value is main let's say i want to i want to set location as a tag it can be done like this 
right so we defined the provider which is aws we also defined which region we want to provision the resources and we created a resource called as aws vpc and the logical name is main shortly i will explain where we use the logical names the cider block instance tenancy and tags okay the next one i want to create a subnet under this vpc so for that we need to define one more resource so please remember this here vpc is a resource and we are going to define one more resource which is a subnet and subnet is also an resource here resource type of resource which is going to be aws subnet so we need to give a logical name again let's call this one as subnet one and its values let's get details of aws subnet from the documentation Yeah, this is the example usage of subnet let's let's copy this as it is right so when we create a subnet obviously we have to create the subnet inside a vpc such that we need to specify the vpc id and we have to specify the side of block along with that we also can define tags so we can define tags for pretty much any resource in AWS. Let's name this one as subnet one here. And cider block, let's match the cider block of the VPC. Slash one and 24. So this is a VPC. Inside this VPC, we are trying to create a subnet. And this syntax in Terraform, right? We call this one as interpolation. Using interpolation, we can get some dynamic values. In this example, I want to get the VPC ID of this resource. So that we are doing with help of interpolation. And this is a syntax for interpolation. In the codes, in the double codes, dollar and open close curly braces. So using this interpolation, we can access the values of other resources. And we also can access the variables that we talk in next video. So I want to get the ID of this VPC. So in, inside this interpolation, the syntax is like this. So type of resource, its logical name, and dot ID. So this particular interpolation gets the VPC ID of this resource. And again, I'm repeating this syntax for you. So always it is resource type its logical name and from this from this resource i want to get the id which is going to return the vpc id for us so this is where logical names are very helpful that's the reason the syntax is always contains logical names for each and every resource we define in the terraform and so how do i know the attribute name is id or how do I know to get VPC ID from this resource, its attribute is ID. So these things we can always check in the documentation. We need to go and check the documentation of AWS VPC for Terraform. And there I will show the exported certain attributes and out of those attributes, ID is one. Yeah, let's go and check VPC. this is the example usage and the all attributes right it's given here it's explained here so along with that the following attributes are exported so these are the attributes references where that particular resource exports certain attributes out of those attributes one is id this id returns the id of the vpc so that is what we are using in this particular code so type logical name and its attribute which is exported that is id in this case so when we run this code it's going to provision two things it's going to provision vpc 
and it's going to provision subnet this subnet is going to be part of this vpc there let's go and execute this code and check the results so again we should get back to the terminal so this is where our file is stored the command to execute terraform is terraform apply so when we run terraform apply terraform picks all terraform files in this directory and it starts executing those files see in our case we have only one file which is .tf which is provided .tf and it's going to load only that particular file okay so before running any terraform commands we need to initialize terraform this is one time activity so why we should initialize terraform is so terraform supports multiple providers as we discussed when we initialize terraform based on the provider it's going to download the plugins for us so we need to run terraform in it yeah so terraform successfully initialized with with the plugins here so it initialized aws plugin okay so after this let's rerun the previous command which is terraform apply so before applying let me show what we have in the uh, aws management console let's get back to vpc so currently we have two vpcs which was manually created by me after executing this code we should see a couple of resources created by terraform and now it's creating a subnet okay let's go and check the account meanwhile yeah see this one so this is the vpc created by terraform now name we gave it as main and we gave location as bangalore so we see those tags created as well so go to subnets and for this vpc check whether it has created any subnet there yeah so there is a subnet with subnet 1 with with name subnet 1 and yeah the subnet is also created in this case that's all in this demo we'll see you again in the next demo thank you